Hello friends, welcome to VMH Learning. This video is about Partial Thromboplastin Time Test. A partial thromboplastin time test is a screening test that helps evaluate a person's ability to appropriately form blood clots. It measures the number of seconds it takes for a clot to form in a blood sample. The PTT assesses the amount and the function of certain proteins in the blood called coagulation or clotting factors that are an important part of blood clot formation. This test is sometimes called an activated partial thromboplastin time test. How is it used? The PTT is used primarily to investigate unexplained bleeding or clotting, to identify coagulation factor deficiency, to detect non-specific autoantibodies, to monitor standard heparin anticoagulant therapy. Why do I need a PTT test? You may need a PTT test if you have unexplained heavy bleeding, bruise easily, have a clot in a vein or artery, have liver disease which can sometimes cause problems with blood clotting, will be getting surgery, have had multiple miscarriages are taking heparin. What do the results mean? Normal PTT test results. PTT test results are measured in seconds. Normal results are typically 25 to 35 seconds. This means that it took your blood sample 25 to 35 seconds to clot after adding the chemicals. Abnormal PTT test results. Remember that an abnormal PTT result doesn't diagnose any particular disease. Multiple diseases and conditions can cause abnormal PTT results. A prolonged PTT result may be due to hemophilia A or B, deficiency of blood clotting factors, von Willebrand disease disseminated intravascular coagulation, hypofibrinogenemia, certain medications such as the blood thinners, heparin and warfarin, nutritional issues such as vitamin K deficiency and malabsorption, lupus anticoagulants. This was all. Thanks for watching.